big data definitely the buzzword which you get to hear all around you from day one till today it is the fastest growing technology in recent years this particular technology is going to spread its branches and is also to reach greater heights hello everyone i'm ravi from edureka and i welcome you all to this session on big data technologies today we shall discuss about the groundbreaking big data technologies which changed the world of information technology and also about few emerging big data technologies which are capable enough to take over this IT world sooner. So without wasting any more time, let us quickly take a look on the agenda for our today's session. We shall get started from scratch. We shall understand what exactly big data is and why do we need it. Later, we shall understand the two major types of big data technologies. After that, I will take you to the world of big data technologies where we will be surfing all about the crucial ones and finally we shall get into the interesting part where we will be looking into the few upcoming big data technologies. So I hope I made myself clear with the agenda. So let us begin with our first topic. What is big data technology? Big data technology can be defined as a technological miracle that can analyze process and extract the information from an extremely complex and large data sets which the traditional data processing software could never deal with. Now that we understand the basic definition of big data technology, let us understand why do we need it. We need big data processing technologies in our day to day life so that we could analyze huge amount of real time data and come up with conclusions and predictions so that we could minimize risks in future. Soon we shall be discussing more about this one. Now let us have a look into different categories into which the big data technologies are majorly classified into. The big data technologies are majorly divided into two types operational big data and analytical big data. Firstly, operational big data. The operational big data is all about the normal day to day data which we generate. The data that the organizations produce which might include the online transactions, social media or the data from a particular college, school, etc. You can even consider this to be a kind of raw data which is used to feed up the analytical big data technologies. A few examples are online ticket booking which might include your bus tickets, rail tickets, flight tickets or even movie tickets and more similar ones. The next one is the online shopping which might include your Amazon, Flipkart, Walmart, Snapdeal and many more. The next one is social media. I guess this one doesn't need much explanation. Data from a lot of social media sites like Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp and a lot more fall under operational big data. Let us take one last example of operational big data which is rather simpler one and is related to the information of a particular organization. For example, the employee details of a multinational company. So with this, let us move into analytical big data technologies. Analytical big data is like advanced part of big data technologies. I feel you are already guessing what exactly that would be. Yet, let me explain that to you in a detailed way. Analytical big data is a little complex than the operational big data. To keep it in short, the analytical big data is where the actual performance comes into picture and a few crucial real time business decisions are made by analyzing the operational big data. A few examples are stock marketing carrying out the space missions where every single bit of information is crucial. Weather forecast information which could be used to warn the civilians before a natural calamity could destroy a certain locality. Medical fields where a particular patient's health status can be monitored and the future decisions on maintaining his health would be taken and many more. Now that we have understood two major types of big data technologies, we shall move on to the important big data technologies smashing the IT industries in the current world. Top big data technologies are classified into four fields. The first one is storage, second one is analytics, third data mining and the last but not the least data visualization. Now let us deal with the technologies falling under these categories, their capabilities, a few facts about them and the companies using them. Let us get started with the big data technologies in data storage. The first one is Hadoop. Hadoop was designed to overcome the issues faced with the traditional data processing systems. Hadoop framework was designed to store and process data in a distributed data processing environment where commodity hardware is used with a simple programming model. Hadoop framework has a capability to store and analyze the data present in different machines at different locations with high speeds and low costs. Hadoop was developed by Apache Software Foundation in the year 2011 
and it is written in the language Java and the current stable version of Hadoop is Hadoop 3.11. Now let us move on to the companies which are using Hadoop. Some of the top major companies using Hadoop are Ortonworks, Cloudera, Microsoft, IBM, Intel and MapR. Now let us move into the next one which is MongoDB. No SQL document databases like MongoDB offer a direct alternative to the rigid schema used in relational databases. This allows them flexibility when handling a wide variety of data types at large volumes and across distributed architectures, properties that have made them a key part of the big data revolution. The MongoDB was developed in the year 2009 and it is written using C++ language, Go, JavaScript and Python. The current stable version of MongoDB is MongoDB 4.0.10. Few of the top major companies using MongoDB are the Microsoft Access, Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL and MongoDB itself. Now let us move on to the next one which is Rainstorm. Rainstorm is a software company that developed a database management system of the same name. The Rainstorm was designed to manage and analyze big data for large enterprises. It uses deduplication technologies to organize the process of storing large amounts of data for reference. The company's origin traces to a special project conducted by the United Kingdom's Ministry of Defense. The purpose was to store the volumes of data from years of field operations for ongoing analysis and training purposes. The Rainstore was developed by Rainstore Software Company in the year 2004 and it works like SQL and the current stable version of Rainstore is Rainstore 5.5. Now let us discuss about the major companies which are using Rainstore. The two major companies are Barclays Bank and Credit Suisse Banks. Now moving on to the next one, I guess you have observed Splunk sharing space with analytical big data technology and data visualization technology as well. It is a kind of multiplayer which offers multiple capabilities. Here let us discuss about Splunk Hunk. Hunk lets you access data in remote Hadoop clusters through virtual indices. Hunk lets you use Splunk search processing language to analyze your data. With Hunk you can report and visualize large amounts of data from your Hadoop and NoSQL data sources. The Hunk was developed by Splunk Incorporations in the year 2013 and it was written in the language Java. The current stable version is Splunk Hunk 6.2 or Splunk 6.2. Now with this let us move into the big data technologies in data mining. The first one in this category is the Presto. Presto is an open source distributed SQL query engine designed for running analytical queries against data sources of all sizes ranging from gigabytes to petabytes. Presto allows querying of data where it lives. The data querying using Presto includes Hive, Cassandra, relational databases or even proprietary data stores. A single Presto query can combine data from multiple sources allowing for analytics over your entire organization. Presto is targeted by analysts who expect response times ranging from sub-second to minutes. Presto breaks the false choice between having fast analytics using expensive commercial solution or using a slow free solution that requires excessive hardware. The Presto was developed by Apache Software Foundation in the year 2013 and it is written in the Java programming language. The current stable version of Presto is Presto 0.22. Now let us discuss about the few major companies using Presto. Presto is used by Facebook, Repro, Netflix, CheckR and Airbnb. Now let us move into the next one. Rapid Miner. Rapid Miner is a centralized solution that features a very powerful and robust graphical user interface that enables users to create, deliver and maintain predictive analytics. Aside from allowing users to create a very advanced workflows, Rapid Miner features scripting level support for several languages. Rapid Miner was developed in the year 2001 and it is written using Java programming language. Rapid Miner was developed by the company named Rapid Miner in the year 2001. It used Java programming language and the current stable version is Rapid Miner 9.2. Now let us see the major companies which are using Rapid Miner. Vivint.SmartHome, Boston Consulting Group, InFocus, Slalom and Domino's. Now with this let us move to the next one, the Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is a search engine based on Lucene library. It provides a distributed multi-tenant 
which is capable of full text search engine with an HTTP web user interface and schema free JSON documents. Elasticsearch was developed by Elastic Envy in the year 2012 and it was written in the Java programming language. The current stable version of Elasticsearch is Elasticsearch 7.1. Let us see a few companies which are using Elasticsearch. Netflix, Accenture, Stack Overflow, Medium and LinkedIn are the few major companies which are using Elasticsearch. With this, let us move into big data technologies in data analytics. The first one in this category is the Apache Kafka. Apache Kafka is a distributed streaming platform. What does that exactly mean? A streaming platform has three capabilities. Publish, subscribe and consume. Similar to a message queue or enterprise messaging system. The Apache Kafka was developed by Apache Software Foundation in the year 2011 and it was written using the programming languages Scala and Java. The current stable version of Apache Kafka is 2.2.0. Now let us see the few major companies which are using Apache Kafka. The few major companies are Spotify, LinkedIn, Yahoo, Netflix and Twitter. The next one is Splunk. Splunk is used to capture, index and correlate the real-time data in searchable repository from which it can generate graphs, reports, alerts, dashboards and visualizations. Splunk is a horizontal technology used for application management, security, Compliance, Business and Web Analytics. The Splunk was developed by Splunk Incorporation in the year 2014 and it is written using Ajax, C++, Python and XML programming languages. The current stable version of Splunk is Splunk 7.3. Let us see the companies which use Splunk. Curator, Trustwave, Splunk and QLabs are the few major companies which use Splunk. Now with this, let us move to the next one which is K9. K9 allows users to visually create data flows, selectively execute some or all analysis steps and inspect the results, models and interactive views. K9 is written in Java based on Eclipse and it makes use of its extension mechanism to add plugins which provide additional functionality. It is developed by the K9 in the year 2008 and it is written in Java. The current stable version of K9 is K9 3.7.2. Now let us see few companies which use K9. Palo Alto Networks, Han Ham and Tyler Technologies are the few major companies which are using K9. Moving on to the next one, the Apache Spark, the well-known big data framework. Spark Core is the underlying general execution engine on which the Spark platform and its functionality is built. It provides in-memory computing capabilities to deliver speed, a generalized execution model to support a wide variety of applications and Java, Scala and Python APIs for ease of development. The Apache Spark was developed by Apache Software Foundation and it was written using the languages Scala, Java, Python and R and the current stable version of Apache Spark is 2.4.3. The few major companies using Apache Spark are Hortonworks, Amazon, Oracle, Verizon Wireless and Cisco. Moving on to the next one, the R programming language. R is a programming language and a free software environment for statistical computing and graphs supported by the R Foundation. The R language is widely used among statisticians and data miners. It is used for developing statistical software and majorly in data analytics. The R programming language was developed by R Foundation in the year 2000 and it is written using the Fortran programming language. The current stable version of R is 3.6.0. The major companies using R are Barclays Bank, Bank of America and American Express. Moving on to the next one, the blockchain. The major capabilities of blockchain are share ledger, smart contract, privacy, consensus. Let us discuss each one of them in detail. Shared ledger. Using blockchain, you can append only distributed system of records across a business network. Smart contract. Business terms are embedded in transaction database and executed with transactions. The third one is privacy. The major features of privacy are ensuring appropriate visibility, making the transactions secure, authenticated and verifiable. The fourth one is consensus. In business environments, all parties can agree to a network verified transactions using blockchains. The blockchain was developed by Bitcoin and it is written using JavaScript, C++ and Python programming languages and the current stable version of blockchain is blockchain 4.0. The major companies using blockchain are Oracle, Alibaba.com, MetLife and Facebook. 
with this we shall move into the big data technologies in data visualization the first one in this category is tableau the major features that tableau can offer are mobile ready dashboards data notifications tableau reader for data viewing dashboard commenting create no code data queries translate queries to visualizations import all ranges and sizes of data create interactive dashboards string insights to a guided story and metadata management it was developed using the programming languages like java c python and c the current stable version of tableau is tableau 8.2 let us see the major companies using tableau the major companies using tableau are oracle hyperion cognos ClickQ. with this let us move on to the next one which is plotly plotly is mainly used to create graphs in a faster and more efficient way Plotly API libraries support for Python, R, MATLAB, Node.js, Julia, and Arduino. Plotly can also be used to style interactive graphs with Jupyter Notebook. It was developed by Plotly in the year 2012. It was written in Java scripting language, and the current stable version is Plotly 1.47.4. The major companies using Plotly are Pladins, Algo Edge, and Bitbank. With this, let us begin with our interesting topic for today's discussion where we'll be discussing about the upcoming big data technologies. The first one is TensorFlow. TensorFlow is an end-to-end -end open source platform for machine learning. It has a comprehensive, flexible ecosystem of tools, libraries, and community resources that lets the researchers push the state-of-art machine learning where the developers can easily build and deploy machine learning-powered applications. TensorFlow was developed by Google Brain Team in the year 2019. It is written using Python, C++, and CUDA programming languages. The current stable version is TensorFlow 2.0 Beta. The major companies planning to use TensorFlow are Intel, eBay, Google, and Airbnb. Moving on to the next one, the Apache Beam. Apache Beam provides a portable API layer for building sophisticated data parallel processing pipelines that may be executed across a diversity of execution engines or runners. Apache Beam was developed by Apache Software Foundation in the year 2016. It is written in Java and Python programming languages. The current station version is Apache Beam 0.10, which is still in incubating stage. The major companies planning to use Apache Beam are Oracle, Cisco, Amazon, and Verizon Wireless. The next one in our docket is the Docker. Docker is a tool designed to make it easier to create and deploy and run applications using containers. Containers allow a developer to package up an application with all the parts it needs such as libraries, other dependencies, and ship it out all at once as a package. It was developed by Docker Incorporation in the year 2003. It is written using the Go programming language and the current stable version of Docker is Docker 18.09. The major companies using Docker are Splunk, Business Insider, Quora, Uber, and PayPal. The next one is Apache Airflow. Apache Airflow is a workflow automation and scheduling system that can be used to author and manage data pipelines. Airflow uses workflows made up of DAGs, or in short, directed acyclic graphs of a particular task. Airflow is used in defining workflows in form of a code so as to provide easier maintenance, testing, and versioning. Apache Airflow is developed by Apache Software Foundation in the year 2019. It is written using Python programming language and the current stable version is Apache Airflow 1.10.3. Moving on to the major companies using Apache Airflow are 9gag, Airbnb, and Check R. The next one in the docket is Kubernetes. Kubernetes is a vendor agnostic cluster and container management tool open sourced by Google in the year 2014. It provides a platform for automating deployment, scaling, and operations of application containers across a cluster of hosts. Kubernetes was developed by Cloud Native Computing Foundation in the year 2015. It was written using the Go programming language and the current stable version is Kubernetes 1.14. The major companies using Kubernetes are American Express, Northwestern Mutual, Peer Deck, and PeopleSource Recruitment Specialists. With this, we have come to an end of the session on big data technologies. I hope you have understood what exactly a big data technology is, its types, and some crucial information and facts about the top big data technologies. Thank you and happy learning.